another surprise to find you all here. It's almost like this was carefully scheduled in the Disney Parks app or something. Oh, we got Spider-Man in the front row. How you doing? How's it going, Spider-Man? All right. You all ready for story time? Yeah! Yeah, you guys like stories? Yeah. What are some of your favorite stories? Go ahead, name some. Oh, very nice. All right. Oh, what did you say, little Spider-Man? What's your favorite story? Can you even talk yet at this age? Well, we'll figure that out later when it comes to the audience participation. Well, anyway, uh, those are all all right suggestions, all four of them, but we're not going to do any of them because this is my show. Yeah, we're going to do what I want to do. <laughs> Today I've got a tale full of action, romance, and guaranteed to be in strong award consideration at the end of the calendar year. It's Beauty Pool. Yay! Favorite. And the Wolver Beast. Ooh. Now this guy scared. Now, I saw you flinch, sir, and all due respect you did. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Alright, put my little 4K reading glasses on. Now I can see all of your beautiful shining faces. Well, that doesn't work. All right, it's not like we have a Disney budget or anything. No worries. Alright, look how cute these pictures are, by the way. Look how adorable dog pool is, huh? Aww. Thank you for cheering, I scribbled these myself. <laughs> Once upon a time. You know what? It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. Why don't we all say it together, shall we? One, two, three. Once upon a time. See, wasn't that fun and interactive? Well, anyway, upon that time, once, I was walking along, captivated by one of my favorite books. The autobiography of Ryan Rodney Reynolds. Oh, we got fellow avid readers out there. Good to hear. When suddenly I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. Come on, children, gallop with me now. Wow, Philippe was severely under the weather today, apparently. That's all right. You see, my father had left home earlier in the day to travel to the fair, but now Philippe was coming back alone. My father no longer in the saddle. Oh, Philippe, I said. Where's Papa? Is he in some kind of trouble? I asked him this like he was some sort of television horse that did understand English, but this is a story grounded in realism, and Philippe is a real horse, so he just whinnied. And I don't really speak whinny, so I just leapt onto his back and guided him to take me to Papa. Quickly, and off we galloped. Oh, thank you for remembering one person. All right, sound effects, thank you. Oh, we galloped deep, deep within the forest. Oh, we were so deep in the forest. Okay, that's too much. Okay? <laughs> Philippe isn't that strong of a horse, or I didn't recover that quickly. Well, anyway, we were so deep in this forest when suddenly we came to a clearing where we saw an enchanted mansion rising out of the mist. It was Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. I dismounted Philippe and sent him on his way. For I knew who lived here. Thank you for galloping as he exited. That's very thoughtful of you. I knew who lived here. It was the Harry, the hideous. Did I mention Harry? Wolverine! Oh, Wolverine, this is so exciting. I can't believe you made it. Quickly, let's take an awesome and cutesy picture together for the gram. You got one. Yeah, that's great. All right, spot, that's man. enough. Let's go. No, wait, Wolverine, please don't leave. You have to help me finish. The story! We were just getting to the good part. Look, if you don't want to do it for me, if you don't want to do it for the Graham High Camera, at the very least, do it for the children, Wolby. Come on, kids, show Wolby your saddest pouting faces until he agrees. All right, all right. Fine. Look how devastated Spider-Man looks in the front row. I see. Fine, fine. I'm not doing this for you, though. I'm doing this for you, Spidey. Yes! You're my hero, Peter Parker. Sorry for exposing your secret identity. Oops. You didn't hear that, guess. Okay. All right. This is so exciting. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. <laughs> just so inviting, that's all. Uh, all right. Um, so, uh, Belle, 
But it's actually Beauty Pool, that's me. I'm not gonna say that. Come on, Spider-Man, Sh show who's boss. <laughs> uh, you don't wanna mess with Spider-Man, do you? I don't, okay. Beauty Pool uh, does a little B&E and, and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. Okay, well, don't forget about the cutlery and the napkins. There's a whole dance number and everything. It's really beautiful. Then, the real hero shows up. The Beast. Go roll for a beast. Come on, Logie Bear. You gotta stay within the rules of parody okay. here. Anyway, Poofler oh. over here makes a mess of things as usual. Then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Um, blah, blah, blah. I slice up some bad guys while Beauty Queen over there I stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. <sighs> How dare you! My cultural references are timeless and everlasting, like Bugsland. Oh. Oh. oh! What happened to Bugsland? <laughs> Ant-Man, what did you do? <laughs> All right, this whole thing is really going off the rails. She didn't mention anything about Mrs. Potts, her adorable, charming son, Chip, Lumiere, or even Chef Boosh. There's a deep cut for all you magic key holders out there. It's the stove character. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Not even a few bars of tale as old as time. Hey, I said no musical theater. Really? Didn't you host the Tony Awards like four times? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, well, um, I clearly touched your nerve, children. Maybe it's time to wrap things up. The moral of this story is pretty obvious, actually. It's don't open your door to strangers. Yeah, because it might just be a creepy old witch who will enchant you, your entire home, and everyone and everything in it, just for not letting them in. It's kind of a weird story, actually, now that I think of it. We tell this to children? You do. All right, that's fair. <laughs> well, we should be off, but Loki Bear, I'll let you do the honors and say the magic special words. What magic words? You know how all these Disney stories end. And nobody say a post credit scene, okay? That is so overdone, and only in the FCU, the Vikings Cinematic Universe. Thank you for clapping, one person. Yeah, I'm still workshopping that acronym. I know, I feel like there's just one too many letters, quite honestly. I'm out of here. Oh, what's wrong, Logie Bear? Too much fourth wall for you? Nah, he's much more of a third wall kind of guy. Ugh, how are you doing there? Oh, well, anyway, I should be up too, but I just want to be clear for the record. They all live happily ever after. Thank you for saying that with me. Deadpool? I have a Christmas special, I'll make you a Christmas. Have a good one, everybody. I'm playing it off. Bye.